Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Blair the Car Guys here with my judge partner, Edgar Gonzalez. How you doing? Hey, guys. I'm a good. You good? You good? Uh, what did you end up doing today? Hey, so I ended up getting seventh place. Seventh place? What'd you play? I was playing Monarchs. Monarchs? Um, regular Monarchs or H-Day Monarchs? I, I was playing kind of a, like a Twisted Monarchs. It's a Speedroid Monarchs. Speedroid Monarchs. Ooh. So like, what were some of your matchups today? Uh, so all day I faced uh, Pure BA, PK Fire, and Draco Bell. No cosmic. Uh, Monarchs. Okay, and what was your loss and draw to? Uh, I went 6-1-1. Uh, and what were your loss and draw? I lost to PK Fire, and I drew with Draco Pals because of time. Okay, alright, so I want to see this list. Uh, let me see what you got. Alright, so uh, let's just show you the standard stuff. Obviously, triple that. Oh, okay. Triple Tenacity, triple Domain. This is no extra deck version, guys. Alright. I, I only played two Stormforth. Two is enough to where you see it, but uh, not too much to where it can be a dead card in turn one. Uh, main deck, two chalices. Chalices just helps you get out of outs uh, for stuff like Tachyon, uh, Galaxy, just whatever that rank eight guy is. Uh, it, it's also good to set after uh, turn one. Two Twin Twisters, good for disruption, also good to get rid of stuff. Uh, the one return, uh, Foolish, uh, it, it has multiple uses. Most people just send an Erebus with it, but you can also send an Eddia to add a Banish card to your hand. Mm -hmm. You can also send an Eidos to the graveyard if you have an Eddia waiting for an Eidos. Uh, have the Rota. Uh, most people play two of these. I play three. So uh, you just want to see this card to block attacks. Its effect to recycle cards from the graveyard is also really good for draw power. Uh, and it makes great tribute fun. Uh, one of these, Escalation, uh, most people don't play it, but I play it to disrupt my opponent's plays. So on to Monarchs, three of the Ether, um, kind of obvious why. Uh, I play three of these because you want to be able to send your Monarch Spells and Traps to the Graveyard as soon as possible. Some people only play two of these. I play three because you want to be, you want to see one of the Monarchs descend stuff right away. Uh, one Majesty Speed, like Mega Caius, again, disrupt plays with either of these. Three Edia, uh, obviously why. Three Eidos, mm -hmm. you want to see the Edia plays as much as possible. And the speed rights. Uh, three Terra Top, you want to see these turn one. Uh, if you don't open with one, you're likely to draw into one. Uh, and then the one talking board to get the, with the Terra Top. But that's it for the main deck. Nice, nice. Is that 40 cards in the main deck? 40 card main deck, yep. All right, so let's see your uh, side deck. Side deck, um, chicken. <laughs> Good luck. 3D art chicken. <laughs> um, yeah, if you, if you guys want to check out my uh, group team's page, it's the Smiling Fish Team. But anyways, it's huh. board the Mega Monarch. Uh, this card came in clutch in one game. I, I tribute summoned for this thing after Stormforthing a Rafflesia, and I targeted the Hope Harbinger Dragon, and I ripped eight cards out of his extra deck. Nice, nice. Slicey. This card is OP if you get it at the right time. Uh, Majesty's Fiend for the PK Fire BA matchups. It also works against Cosmos, obviously. Trap Eaters, so many people side. Uh, Imperial Iron Wall, Anti Spell Fragrance, and. The mask restricts, so anytime you know that a certain deck is siding them, you side these in to counter it. Nice. It, it works pretty well. Flying Seas, uh, PK Fire, BA, it's kind of a bad matchup for this deck because of all the back row, so you want to be able to handle their uh, field presence before they can develop back row. Uh, two electric viruses, uh, Hope Harbinger is, is a card that is, the, is around. Uh, if Hope Harbinger's not on the field, then Dynasters uh, or Ignister might be on the field. So it, it's great just to steal stuff and tribute it all. Uh, the Glam CLs, I play these just because uh, I have this crazy notion that I might see some super mecha quantum beat, or super quantums run into that invincible guy. So, uh, But there's also other times when you can side that in. It works well against Beatrice, for example. Uh, one Monarch's Erupt, it is searchable skill drain, disrupt your opponent's plays. Uh, it didn't see much play today, I just figured I'd throw it in there for them. why not. Uh, two System Down, Cosmo matchup, didn't see any today. Uh, two Magical Spring, in my opinion this is the best side deck card. I saw this every, pretty much every single match I sided this in. Uh, 
particularly because it's draw power that lets you discard stuff to the graveyard. If you time it just right, you end up drawing more cards than you throw away, so it helps replace some of the cards that are normally dead in your deck uh, against certain decks. But that's it, guys. All right, Edgar, we appreciate you. Congratulations once again. All right, and this is Blair the Card Guy. See y'all.